Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today we're going to be doing some forging and we're going to be making a knife out of this cable, this steel cable. Now, the way I'm going to go about doing this, there's a lot of impurities. There's a little bit of a coating on top of this, uh, this type of steel cable. So the way to get away from getting those impurities stuck into the billet we're going to have to put this into a canister. Now, the way I'm going to do this is very dirty wire. It's old used wire uh, cable. I'm going to take this apart and then I'm going to put it in some acetone to clean it uh, for a few hours and I'll clean it off and then we'll cut it up into smaller pieces and I'm going to put it into this canister that I'm going to be making out of this two inch diameter 316 stainless steel tube. Now, the reason I use 316 stainless is because I find that it does not stick at all to the hard, high carbon steel. Unlike some people putting a coating inside and things like that. Um, if you're using steel tube, it's gonna wanna forge weld to whatever you're putting into it. That's why I use this 316. So it's a higher grade. It's, um, you can get 304 stainless, which is a lower grade uh, stainless. But I find that the 316 literally, and you'll see it in the video, when I'm done forge welding the canister, I just cut off the top and bottom and it slips right off. There's no extra work in trying to grind it off. It just comes off very easily. And I've done many of these canister Damascus um, billets and they always seem to work really well with the 316. So let's get right into making our cable Damascus in our canister. So to make the canister I'm using this type of tubing the 316 and it's about an eighth wall thickness and I'm going to also use some plate 316 and I'm going to cut that into a square at first and put it on top. I'll tack it and then I will grind it round and then fully weld it. And after that, I have the bottom on. I'm going to put my cable in and I'm going to be putting in 1084 powdered steel. And the powdered steel is going to take up those spaces in between the outside of the, the canister in between and in between the uh, cable, the steel cable. And because of that, we're gonna hopefully have no air in between the two and that's why we don't need any flux uh, once we close this up. Now, I'm gonna be putting on another plate on top after I finish filling it. And what I like to do is put it on my press and it's a 60 ton press and really press in that top lid so it just uh, makes it that much easier to forge weld without any uh, voids or gaps inside the canister. And then I'll fully weld it and I'll put a small vent hole on one side and then I'll weld it onto a bar and start forging. <laughs>
Now that I have my billet done, I'm going to take that billet and I'm going to weld on a rod so I can um, hold it easier um, while I'm forging it. But I'm going to design a knife and I'm thinking I'm going to be making like a type of cleaver, heavy duty uh, cleaver out of that billet. Now, I also wanted to make it basically um, one piece handle and uh, the actual blade part. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to try and thicken the, uh, the billet here, elongate it, and then right here on the spine, maybe uh, 3 16 and then taper down to the blade front. And the way I do that, there's a little trick that I do when I'm uh, forging out a billet, especially using my press. I will forge out little by little. And what I do is to forge the blade part longer, I use this little tool here, which is a hardened pin on there. And I will place the print pin while it's hot and underneath the forge to get it to move sideways. And I'll place it there, keep on pressing a uh, little by little in between forges and I'll get it to elongate in this direction. And then I can start forging it down into the blade thickness I want. So let's get on to forging. We'll turn on the forge and we'll start forging this cleaver out.
So we have our heavy duty cleaver made out of the cable Damascus in the canister. It's sharpened up, cuts paper, no problem. But let's try and cut, cause this is, you know, a heavy duty cleaver. Let's try and cut some, I don't know, some wood, some hickory, a cross grain, something like that, just to see how this edge holds up. Let's do it. Okay. so. I put a piece of wood on the anvil just to uh, stop it from me hitting the anvil, which probably isn't good for it. But I have some hickory here, an old handle, and whoa, seems to be pretty good. Whoa, that cut. That's stuck in there. Edge is still perfect. Looks good. And just cut that hickory and it's across the grain. So it makes it a lot harder to cut. This would be great for cutting through bone or some thick meat. Yeah, seems to hold up nicely. Yeah, nice, very nice. The cable seems to be pretty strong. Still pretty sharp. Didn't do anything to the edge. Cuts paper like butter. So the cleaver did good in the cutting and Still cuts paper really nice. Now we got to put it to the test. I'm going to bring it home and cut some meat with it. Thank you for watching Bonifab Custom as we made the cable Damascus in the canister. Don't forget to subscribe and push that button for notifications for more forging videos and fabrication videos just like this one. Thanks.